Table Mountain stands proud and tall as a World Heritage Site and it's just one of many places worth visiting in the Cape Town area. One of these tiny treasures is the Boer Kop, tucked away in the fold of Signal Hill. While many of the houses and buildings are well over 200 years old, age isn't their only attribute. They're also homes to fascinating, friendly people. And it was this living heritage that captured Michel's attention when he explored the cobbled streets of the Boer Kop. Michel didn't need a parachute, but he did feel as if he'd done some time traveling when he found himself walking on cobbled streets past Georgian homes high above Table Bay. I'm here in the colorful, beautiful Bukov, situated on the slopes of Signal Hill in Cape Town, which is known as the historical center of the Cape Malay culture. Now, quintessentially a township, it is known for its multicultural diversity and colorful homes. Hi, Michelle. Lovely to meet you. Nice meeting you too. I've heard that you're the best tour guide to offer me the experience in Bukov. Yes, would you <laughs> like to start? Oh, absolutely. Tell me a bit more about the history of Boerkop. Boerkop goes back to the late 1700s. Now, is there any truth in that most of the descendants here in Boerkop were from slaves? It was not that they were descendants of slaves. It was around 1763 that you had a Dutch reform administrator who had built several houses here that he hired out to the slaves. Their families then continued and were the 1934 Group Eras Act of South Africa, when it became the Cape Malay Quarter, you just had more Malays moving into the area. Shireen, how did all these colourful houses come about? It's only in the last 15 to 20 years that bright colours came out in artworks and in fabrics. And that's how the outsides of the homes got painted. One person started, believe it or not. Shireen, listening to you, I'm really excited to discover Boer Cup. I think it's time. <laughs> Shireen, tell me, who are we visiting next? We are visiting Badranisa Bosch, and she's been living here for quite some time. Badranisa was waiting at the traditional stable door. Michal, such a pleasure to meet you. Come inside. That will be lovely after you, Shireen. Oh, thank you for welcoming us into your home. It's a pleasure. Come inside and make yourself at home. Auntie Nisa, what's it been like bringing up your son and living here in Bukha? Oh, it was marvellous because we have one another. We're like one big happy family. I could go next door and ask my neighbour anything. Even if I'm sick, my husband don't need to stay home. My neighbour will look after me. We are there for one another. Auntie Nisa, thank you so much for welcoming me into your beautiful home. It's been such a pleasure. It's a pleasure and have a nice day. Cape Town's early history was intertwined with the spice trade which still forms part of Boerkarp life. So this is the Spice Wholesalers. The shop has been an institution for many, many years. Well, how about caught you at a good time? Oh, OK, yeah. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. No, sir. What are you busy with over here? Well, I'm busy filling up uh, leaf masala. Beef, I can. You can smell it, sure. I get that smell. All my sinuses are opening up. OK, that's good. <laughs> well, what is so special about your spices? Our spices are being imported whole. We don't uh, import the ground spices because so that for freshness and aroma. And when we do grind it, it's the whole spice. Alva Harp, thank you so much. I'll leave you to it. Okay, thank you very much. The spices had wet Michelle's appetite. <laughs> wow, look at that spread. It's all ready for us. <laughs> Tell me a bit more about your traditional Cape Malay cuisine. Cape Malay food is a mixture. A mixture of Indian food, Malaysian food, Dutch food, British food, German food, French food. It's all combined. So tell me a bit more about this. This is now a sweet and sour lamb. lamb. Oh, and look how easily it comes off the bone. I'll go with the pubuerti. Pubuerti. Traditional Cape Malay pubuerti. This denning place is absolutely superb. But really is my first time, and I can guarantee you that it is tasty. And the best way to end it off is with a typical Cape Malay cook sister, which traditionally we people would have on a Sunday morning for breakfast. Well, it's been such a pleasure discovering Boer Cup with you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Take care. Enjoy. Discovering Boer Cup has been such a delight, and it's definitely a place I recommend the next time you visit Cape Town for all its beauty, history, and oh-so-good food. <laughs>